problem of the week, we have four triangles. They're all the same right triangles. When you draw them out, this is a right triangle here with a hypotenuse of 3. And then where this one intersects up here, the difference between the two is 1. And the question is, find the area of the triangle. It's a pretty hard algebraic problem. But with the wooden puzzle, if you take all these wooden pieces out and put them together and play with it, the geometric solution is really easy when you play with the puzzle. Um, and also really an elegant geometric solution. Okay. So if you want to work on this puzzle for a little bit, go ahead and pause the video right here and work on it. And then I'll run through the algebraic solution and then show you the geometric solution. Okay, so the algebraic solution is if this is 3, I'm going to call this side B. And then this side right here is going to be the same as this side. So this side will be A. But I can see that A is equal to B plus 1. Right? So this is the same as a shorter leg plus an additional 1. And then with the Pythagorean theorem, I have B squared plus A squared equals 3 squared. But then I know A is equal to that. So I have B squared plus A squared, B plus 1 quantity squared equals 9. I have to FOIL that out. So I have B squared plus B squared plus 2B plus 1 equals 9. Write two variables. I have to have two equations. I combine them through substitution. It gives me a quadratic. Now I have 2B squared plus 2B, subtract 9 from both sides, minus 8 equals 0. I can factor out a 2 and divide both sides by 2. We get B squared plus B minus 4 equals 0. There are no factors of 4 that are going to work out to be integers. Okay. So what I do is I actually I use a quadratic equation. So X is equal to negative B plus or minus B squared minus 4AC all over 2A. And I take those values of 1 for A, 1 for B, and negative 4 for C. And I solve for x, and I get a value for x um, of 1.56, 1.5616. And that's going to be my value for b. So my value for a is 1 plus that, 2.5616. So using the quadratic equation, I could solve for these legs to find the area of the triangle. Well, the other way I could do it, if you just want to gather around right here, let me show you how, how you could do this um, geometrically. So let's see, this triangle goes this way, this way, this way, and this way. And I know those hypotenuses are three, so I'm just going to slide that out there, slide that out there and there. And that will give me a hypotenuse of three. Oops, I guess that's upside down. So the hypotenuse is 3 by 3. So that square would be 9. But inside of that, I know this is 1 by 1. So that inside square is 1. So I'm going to subtract the area of that. 9 minus 1 will give me 8. So the area of that square is 8. And that's already taken out that little bit, divided by the four triangles. So the area of one triangle is 2. So the area of a single triangle is 2.